The next drill that we run, we just did this today at practice. Give me the young man at the end. I want you to go right there, okay? It's a good drill for you to teach your kids every day. Here's what we do. We go, well, how are to our kids? Shooting hand. Here's what they do. Elbow under, off the palm, arm like the letter L. Right foot slightly ahead of the left. I'm right-handed. Feet spread, shoulder width apart. Okay? Weight on the balls at my feet. I'm going to shoot it to you. You're going to shoot it back to me. You've got to reach me. You can catch it with both. One of the things that's extremely important, say there, see how his ball rotated? Okay, see how mine rotated? When you practice shooting, have your players shoot the basketball with the seams coming across their hand like this. Because if I do this, it should come down the same way I shot it. Okay, and you can't do that in the game, obviously, you might pick it up this way, but I'm saying for practice, watch how he catches it. Okay, and let's see if I do the same thing with him. Okay. Next part of the drill. Show me a target. Put your hands above your head. Okay. That's my target. I want to make sure he does not move. Here's your target. One-handed. Here's your target. Short. Hands up. Right here. Not bad. Right here. That's over here. Put it right between my hands. Good. One more time. Good. If you can't hit the target, I expect to put the ball in the basket. Okay? One another reason for the target is this. I like to teach our players when they go to shoot, a lot of kids on here, I say to kids at camp, uh, I'll say to this young man here, what do you look at when you shoot? Turn around, face the basket. What are you looking at? The rim. A lot of kids say that. I try to teach kids to sh aim for the front of the rim. Shoot for the front of the rim. The number one thing you want to work on, you're not, you're not going to have your players get better overnight, but you should be able to do this. You should be able to make your players shoot the ball, watch, straight. The sh ball should go straight. The one that went off to the left, off to the right, when I did that just a few minutes ago, it wasn't straight because my finish wasn't straight. The ball's coming off of these two fingers. If I take these two fingers, hands up, and I hook those two fingers right between his hands. The ball should go there. So now when we take it to the basket, it should be the exact same thing. 